What is going on everybody? This is going to be a short video. I just want to show you some of the upcoming releases from Games Workshop for Age of Sigmar. This is somewhat of a leak video. Uh, you might have seen these floating around, but I pulled them off of Facebook. So let me go ahead and show you these. This is the Soul Blight Grave Lords Vampire Lord. There was a lot of speculation about a uh, pirate vampire, pirate army vampires, and it looks like that is not going to be the case. Instead, it is the Red Vine Bat Hair Pirates, kind of like Evil Wendy's. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I'm sure once it's uh, we see the better non you know potato quality image it's going to look really cool as you know always standing on a rock that's gw's style if you're important you've got to be jumping off a rock got the bat wing shield pretty sweet uh, mace which is cool instead of like a sword or whatever you would normally expect so that's pretty sweet uh, i'm gonna go ahead and say i'm not a huge fan of this crazy bat hair Looks maybe a little too spindly, uh, like it's thick here. Let me zoom in. You know, it's thick here around the head, and then it's just like almost, I don't think there's supposed to be individual strands, but like, I don't know, it seems like it should maybe be thicker, at least to this point, like all flowing and then breaking apart where the bats are holding the strands. Not sure. Uh, you know, whatever. It's pretty cool. It just seems, I don't know. We'll see in person. I bet with some paint jobs it'll be better. Also, it looks like, I mean, it'd be very easy. Just snip, snip, and you just have a vampire. So if you don't like the bats, you could cut them off, of course. And this next one is hilarious. Oh, my God. It is elf kangaroo archers. What? <laughs> oh, my God. This Lumineth Realm Lords army is such a mess. Like... I don't even hate this, like being on the kangaroo, Age of Sigmar kangaroo, that's fine. The bow looks cool, the archer looks cool, but they keep up with this just stupid helmet thing. Like their helmets are so bad in this army. Not all of them, like a character with a big helmet to me is fine because he's, you know, like the guy meditating on the rocks, he's fine. But like the techless model was just so bad and... I honestly think this thing's pretty cool as far as a kel uh, elf kangaroo archer goes, but this helmet's really stupid once again. Like, this is just bad design. And that is, I'm not saying I'm an expert in design, but if you measure the distance of the top of this horn to, say, his helmet right here on his forehead, that's like the distance to his knee, almost. Like, that's insane. Like, he's got the oversized bow or giant bow, which is pretty cool. But when you put a helmet this pointy and then it gets this tall and wide and big, it just makes no sense. It looks so off balance and just terrible design. I don't know how they're letting these get through. I don't know who approved these to their design team. And honestly, I think the model itself is really pretty cool. I mean, these guys look a little friendly instead of evil or angry or dangerous, but they are kangaroos, so it's fun to see kangaroos in the Age of Sigmar. But this helmet, I mean, it's just awful. The guys with the hammers and the cow helmets are worse somehow, but this is really bad too. But all of them are better than Teclas, which is really one of the worst models I've ever seen. The monster in Teclas is cool, but... Teclas himself doing the wee pose, jumping off the wing or whatever, so bad. <laughs> but anyway, that's the, the salt there. So there you go. You got kangaroos, if you're into that, and you got crazy vampires. Those are the new leaks. You'll see them probably on Saturday. I'm sure that's why they're leaking right now, and they're going to show them in the GW preview show. And just to touch on it before we go... The thing I honestly, honestly hate the most about GW's practices right now is the blatant money grab of having units that are fully designed and 
fully with rules, fully complete, painted, boxed, ready to ship, and not including them in the codex or army book or battle tome because they want you to buy another book. And that, I mean, if you don't see that as just a blatant money grab, like, I don't know how, how you couldn't. Like, because you know this model was ready when all the other models for that army were ready, but now they're releasing this one. And I assume these boxes here on the side, there's probably more than one kit coming. And you're telling me <laughs> they didn't have these ready to go and actually print the rules in the army book with the points, with battalions, and just make it a complete army. But somehow, just a couple months later, they have it. Oh, finally, we finished the kangaroo archers. They're ready to be released. Oh, no, they're not in the book. What should we do? Oh, let's put another book out with rules that cost $50. But you get a little story, so it's totally worth it, right? No, no, it is not. So I hate that. Uh, you'll see it again soon. I'll make a video about it once the Death Guard Codex comes out and then the Death Guard special rules in the new uh, 40K Vigilus Ablaze style book comes out with rules for death guard i mean and dark eldar or you know they're getting a codex soon and they're supposed to have rules in that new supplement but and it's just uh really bothers me and that's mainly because and i'll go into it again in the future but the models hold value this kit unopened if you buy this kit and want to sell it unopened you could get 70 to 80 percent of what you spent your money back no problem. Unopened, you could probably get 100% of your money back if you just return it to the store that you bought it from. Now, once you open it, you're looking at 50, 60% of your money back, you know, but if you paint it nicely, you could get two, 300% of your money, maybe even more, depending on how good of a painter you are. So, and this goes on for years and years and years. They hold a pretty decent value. They can go up in value. These new plastics, probably not so much, but we have seen some of the older metal models that have gone up in value. And, I mean, I don't know. The books do not. They just turn to garbage. The books last about three or four years max, and they become actual garbage. You put them in the garbage can. Or you keep them forever, but you never open them again. You never look at them again. <laughs> they just take up space. And, yeah, I don't know. So... This is also coming from a position of I don't really read the stories in the books. I like the lore of, you know, the memories of the games I play with my friends, not the stories that they, uh, you know, write in the books. I never really read them. Maybe I'd like them. I don't know. But so anyway, the books to me feel like a ripoff. So by holding, withholding models that should have been in the battle tome to sell you another book really bothers me. But there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Quick video. Please subscribe, like, comment down below if you love kangaroo archers and mace-wielding bat hair vampires. Or give me a uh, comment if you hate them because I like reading those too. Thank you so much. Peace.